on guys, just Summits here. We're doing a flow tutorial here. We're doing a shake to be exact. And um, this is the clips I'm gonna be doing the shake on. Nothing special. Um, make sure motion tile is added to all these. This is a uh, pre-comp as motion tile in it. And yeah, so basically what you're gonna wanna do is control alt Y or you can click, right click, new adjustment layer. And just make it any, um, you know, any length right now, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using a preset, just like I did last time. Uh, it's a dissolve shake, so you guys are gonna to wanna to add S underscore dissolve shake. Um, a lot of people use the other one, but they're both, S underscore shake, they're both good if you know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing, I'm a boss at this game. So, basically, I'm gonna to wanna to copy these numbers, 33, um, you're gonna to wanna, to, uh, we'll get to the amplitude in a second. And then frequency, and then the X shake, 192 I think these are default and then I think this 150 but this is all gonna get changed so you can change it you can wait doesn't matter but we're gonna do the amplitude so for this guys um I have it I have the shape starting four frames before the middle of the clips you can have it eight you can have it two four I think four is just the perfect number but it depends on the clip so mine starts four before the middle and then goes Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But again, that might get moved depending on your clip. This just works for mine. So move it around, you know, test it out. And I'm gonna show you guys the graph. Um, this is way too stiff, this graph. Um, as you can see right here, that, these graph, like this one needs to go down and this one needs to go up. Um, that's just something you gotta, you gotta see and you'll understand the more you do this. So just copy, um, the keyframe, so keyframe there, six right in the middle, and then zero. And these out, outer keyframes, they might get moved depending on your clip. So now getting into the actual shake. Um, this part is pretty easy, but you just have to know what you want. So we're gonna open up all these shakes. And as you can see, there's motion tile on the left and the bottom. Now this clip, a good shake would go in and then out. Because this clip, it doesn't like, it doesn't, it, it just doesn't make sense to do a shake coming from the top left or the top right. So I'm gonna show you a, a top left shake. This is what it would look like. That's what I call them, you know? So this is what it looks like. It comes from the top left and then you can even amp this up even more like that. And then I would have to fix the graph. It doesn't look perfect, but um, yeah, so that's another shake you can do just like that and then zoom in a little bit more Like that and then that would be a good shake That would be a decent shake if you have a clip coming from the top left But again, you're gonna want to change it for your clip. So my clip is a zoom in. That's the shake I'm gonna be doing here. So um, We're gonna go here to Z shake phase it to where it's all the way inside of Tanjiro yeah, right about there. And then I want it to be in the middle because I don't want it to like shake. You see that? See how it goes to the right after that? We don't want that. That's stupid. Um, I'm also gonna put the amp a little higher so it's like right in there. Um, so, and then we wanna change the X X phase to right there. So I don't want it to like, yeah, that's, that's good. And then Y, I think Y is good. Yeah, that's, that's good. So we're gonna play the shake we have so far. And that's, that's it's pretty good. That's almost exactly what I have in this edit. Because this edit I've already I'm already doing right now, and it's pretty good. I'll actually show you Bitch, this two phone, baby. Bitch, two phone, baby. So as you see, the shake is very similar. But we're gonna add one more thing. A little helpful tip for you guys: you're gonna want to play around with the phase, the amps, the phase, the amps, the phase, the amps. You're gonna want to play around a lot until you understand what does what and understand um, what works with your clip because this works with my clip. A little zoom in and out, it, it looks good. So now I'm gonna show you something to give it a little bit more impact. Um, this is super simple. Um, you're gonna wanna make it a couple frames just like that. And this is Twitch, it's another plugin. And you're gonna wanna just add it just like that. And then what I do, um, this is from a Zepton tutorial is um, I add light and blur. And then what you're gonna wanna do is find the two most blur and light spot, which is actually the first two keyframes for me. And then take out the rest. So it should only be two keyframes. 
I, I usually take out blur. So I'm gonna try that and see how that works. Yeah, I like that more. So um, I use no blur, just light, and you don't even have to change. You don't even have to change this. You can if you really want it brighter. But um, if you're also using the flicker, which I did on this scene, it um, it really doesn't matter. So yep, just find your two most light lighting spots. So as you can see, it starts up again. So right here and here. But um, I already have it perfect right here. So the first one should be extremely bright, and the second one should be not as bright. And then you cut it off. And then there's one more thing you could do. This is super simple. It's called a flicker. Um, I'm gonna make it starting. And we'll just go the whole clips. So I'm gonna make it end right there. Um, this is something super simple for flow that um, everybody should know. So we have uh, S underscore flicker here. It's part of the dissolve plugin that we just used. And right on the middle, we're gonna use a amplitude of three. Again, this will be different for everybody. Um, actually, I'm gonna go like, yeah, no, we're gonna go three, we're gonna go three. It's black for right now, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna keyframe the three, and then I'm gonna go zero on both the sides, zero like that, zero like that. And then we're gonna want a very, very hard graph here. So like this all the way. This was not keyframed, my bad. All right, then this all the way over just like that and then these you're gonna want to play around with these to see what looks the best so let's play it so that looks pretty good to me and then that fade is not from the flicker um it's right here i have that fade because it's just what i use over here the fade happens right here into a new clip so guys that's basically the entire tutorial if you guys have anything else um you want to see I'll show you this this is what I've done so far I'll show you this and if you guys have any questions about it or any other tutorials just let me know and yeah this is the shape came out pretty well again it all depends on your clip again if you guys have any tutorials just let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video Bitch,